everybody what's going on. I'm sitting here just in downtown Chicago. I uh, just thought I'd do a quick update on how everything is going. Um, two weeks ago, had our, we had our first youth service, uh, September the 15th. It was, um, no, September the 13th. I'm sorry, my birthday was soon after. Uh, we launched, it was, I cannot say how amazing it was. I blew my inspiration out of the wazoo. I don't know where all those kids came from. We had about 40 to 50 kids that came out and 10 gave their lives to Jesus for the first time over 10, 15 of them, um, you know, rededicated their life, and I just, I mean, I can truly say that it was an amazing time in the presence of God, and it, comp and it one hundred percent showed the um, the future that is ahead of us as a youth ministry. So right now, um, I'm just hanging out. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work in my office, and as you can see right now, there is a rally that is going on. Let me see if I can get it on my camera. Whoa, can you hear it? Oh, right, this way. See him? There they are. I don't know what they're I don't know what they're talking about, but welcome to Chicago. They're saying that, that I guess it's about taxes or something. But I just showed you the power when people gather together. Yeah. So but things go along right along what I'm about to talk about. Um, I've been hanging out in my office and doing a lot of work there, but I haven't been really too much in the city. And, and we know that when Joshua went to the promised land, God said to him, God said, he said, um, he said, whatever your, where your foot shall tread, I'll give you that place. And, and so today I just thought, man, I'm going to take a few hours just to go among the city and I'm going to pray and declare and decrease some things over this place as I walk around and, and, um, and just kind of, we know. And as I've been doing this today, as I've been watching people and observing and, you know, doing what everybody loves to do, uh, which can become a hobby in itself, which is people watch, uh, I'm reminded of Jesus whenever he was in, you know, in Israel. And it says that whenever he would look among the people, he said one thing, he said that he recognized that there was sheep without shepherd. He recognized the need. And so that's exactly what's happening to me today. As I'm looking among these people, I'm looking at them and, and I'm recognizing the need. And so this has been encouraging me um, as I'm in this season because this is what I'm here for. I'm here to meet a need. And, and so um, personally, this season has been a very, very um, strong season of, of, of exposure and, and pruning that God is doing in me. I can't even explain in words what God, the process that God has taken me through. But it is, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not easy, I'll say that. But it's been, um, but it's been, I know it's going to be worth it. And so... Even now, as I'm as I'm doing this 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 blog, I'm looking at people who are who are who I've been called to reach, and they are my fuel for this season. And so, if there's anything that I can encourage you with with out of my life and what God is doing in me, if you're in a place of a, of a hard season or a confusing season or a season where you may feel like God is doing a lot in you and pruning you. I want to ask you, what is your fuel for where you are right now? Is your fuel reaching people? Is your fuel getting in the, in the face of God where you haven't been in His face for a while? Is your fuel reaching your family? Is your fuel being going out into a city and doing what I'm doing and, and just observing people? What is your fuel? Because I will say this, that wherever you are, God is calling you to reach those among you. And you can't know them if you're not among them. Watching them and observing them and seeing what is the culture that is a, that, that is that is that is erupting in your in your um, around you? And so that I just want to encourage you: go reach your city, take the loss, take back what the enemies what the enemies try to what the enemies taken taken from us, and and know that we have the dominion. And wherever your foot shall tread, God is giving you that place. Whether that be your school, whether that be whatever it is, and something else that's been truly encouraging me is um the Sodom and the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. When Abraham said to God, he said, God, if there is, is, is there 50 people in this city, will you end it? And we know that, that God said, no, if there's 50 people, I will not end that city. I will continue to, to, to um, I will keep that city alive. And, and, and so know this, that wherever you are, you may be around a lot of violence. You may be around a lot of, 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 of 
of, of worldliness or wherever. For me, look at me, I'm in Chicago. This place is known for its violence, it's known for the murders, it's known for all these crazy things. But I want you to know that God is not going to smite this city. He's not done with this city. He's not going to leave this city. Why? Because there are righteous people here. And if there's one righteous person, God will keep his hand upon a place to see the promise of God done through. You are the salt for your wherever you are. You are the righteous person that God wants to use to infiltrate that city. And it doesn't even take you doing anything. It just takes you simply being being a believer it just takes him you just being there and god's going to use you and so just believe in that i just want to encourage you in that take your city take it take it for him because that's that's what we're here for you know mark 12 says it the love of god with all your heart so mind and strength and the second greatest commandment the, a part of that is this it's the love your neighbor as yourself and so it's time and so i just want to encourage you with that God is doing miraculous things here. Um, also, with my church, we are growing out of the wazoo. Um, we, we actually don't have room in our building anymore. We're actually looking for a new building as we speak. So be praying for us regarding that. Um, God is moving. Um, we're seeing people come. We, had, we saw eight people um, eight people um, coming to Christ and join the church this past Sunday. It's just every week God is moving in a miraculous way. So keep us in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers. I just want to update you on what God is doing. And I will talk to you in a few weeks.